Bronco Nation. What is up? This is episode 12 of the Shirts and Skins podcast. I am Matt Lamb, joined by Brandon Miner and Mark Moss. Hello, guys. What's up? Hey. How are we feeling? Pretty good. Pretty, Mark? I'm pissed. <laughs> I'll just say it right now. We'll get to that. Okay. Uh, thank you for joining us once again. Um, we love you guys. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, I, I feel like a little love is needed. Love. A little love, a little, love. Good, a little pissed. <sighs> Quite a combo today. I don't. I, and I didn't mean I love you guys. Oh. The people that. Why not? I mean, I do love you guys. It just seems strong. I love you guys. We love our listeners. It, do you say that viewers. because our only listeners are family members? Yeah, it's probably. <laughs> is that why you say that? It's, yeah. I love you, mom. <laughs> I can, I can I safely love say. Your guys' moms. I love you, yeah. fans, because I probably saw them all today. Yeah. <laughs> You have hugged them this week. I've hugged them. That is not true. We've actually, That's not true. Surprisingly, yeah. Going into this, I didn't know anyone would listen. So it's been kind of fun to have people listen. Yeah. So if you are watching, listening, we thank you. Consider subscribing. Consider liking, sharing, all those things. Thank you. All we right, don't have commercial breaks. We don't. We don't do commercials. We don't do commercial breaks. It's an hour at least straight through. You need endurance for that. We're all yeah. pretty good. Yeah. Matt's got the body for it. We all saw it last week. If you didn't watch end. till the end. It, you had to watch till the very end. The very end. I kept it in there. That wasn't just clickbait. That was legit. No, I did Watch it. to the end. I did it. It will shock you. <laughs> so go back and watch it if you didn't. That's a great surprise. Actually, we had somebody that would talked about hot punishment. Really? Was I, it Andrew? Yeah. Andrew. I Perkins, loved his idea. I loved his idea. I didn't. I need to do a better job of. Don't tell comments. me you don't read the comments because you are all over the comments. Don't. No, okay. You have different profiles all over the comments. We've <laughs> yeah, talked okay, about let, that. Let me just read what Andrew said. Okay. <laughs> and I love the idea. And by the way, we know Andrew. He's not family. <laughs> Again, I don't know Andrew. I still know love Andrew. him. He's not still. Family. No, we could say we love him. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, love you, buddy. Uh, he said, this is a comment on YouTube. I feel like the hot take that deserves a hot punishment is the take that you guys are 100% confident they will lose another game this year. Whoop. Okay, well, well okay. yeah. And we and, were right. We were he, all pretty confident, and right? And he said, back that statement up. <laughs> so you, it, you backed that up. So Andrew. if, if <laughs> meaning if we didn't lose another game, we would have a punishment. Uh, right? Sure. Yeah, is that matter. what he said? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, and uh, I said, what are you suggesting? What's the punishment if we went out? And he said, I'm not very creative, but maybe something to do with an ice bath. Yeah, I love it. I, for the last part of the show or gross food consumption, uh, I'd prefer ice bath. Yeah, me personally, because there's. But, but we already we won. have an ice bath here we, in the office. You do, yeah. It, it, we would have to add the ice. It's a cool it's, bath. Right? It's a it's a cold plunge. Cold plunge, but currently not working. <laughs> <laughs> Needs to be sent back to manufacturer. But no, I love the idea of a cold plunge as a hot punishment. Cold hot Ooh. punishment. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. We we could do that. Like yeah. we should do that. Yeah, we'll we need to label one of our takes as okay, that's a hot take. So and that's deserving. could have some we, hot takes today. You know, yeah, we, we should will. probably in our extensive prep work for this podcast, we should talk about this. <laughs> about what we're gonna do for our hot takes and our hot punishments. We only ever talk about it once a week here. And like, okay, we'll do that. Yeah. Then we never do. No, I, I liked Andrew's idea. In fact, we <laughs> could set it up a cold plunge right here yeah. on camera. Just in the other and room. And have somebody, we could bring it in. Go we could have in somebody in the cold plunge. During the show. During the show. That's yeah. got to be dangerous. <laughs> because? How long? How long can you be in a cold plunge? Well, it depends on the temp. Okay. Like you, you could throw, you could, if we're at a 50s, I mean, you're going to be in there for 10 minutes. Ooh. All right. It just depends if the water's flowing, then Team that's skins. pain. Team skins. Shirt yeah, off. you don't want shirts oh, on that yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Or maybe two, two, get two. Of you guys will be in there. We all. That said, we all predicted a. Well, we all predicted a win, oh, just because we, we thought uh, Fresno we wasn't very early, good. Beginning of the year, we all predicted a loss. Then we got caught up in that big yeah. Wyoming victory. We had turned the page. Our defense well, maybe, showed up. Maybe we should talk about that. What's your well? It can. Yeah. We? Yeah. Let's get going. Let's talk about it. Wyoming was a farce, by the way. It was a joke. Yeah, that's Mirage. Mark can, Mirage. What do you? How, what, what's your take? On yesterday's game. game? Yes, yeah. yesterday's game. Lead us into it, Mark Moss. Sure. We uh, lost to Fresno State. We are who 
We our record says crown, we are crown their <laughs> crown, <laughs> crown their we are who we thought we, thought we are who we everyone thought we were thought we were we are what a was fallen that guy's name what was that guy's that, name what? was that he the was Cardinals Dennis, that was not Dennis, Dennis uh, Denny 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 Green Denny, Denny Green, Green dude crown their crown their <laughs> so like. we are who we feared we were we're a four and five football team that's lost four games by one score and we are incredibly undisciplined. We are being incredibly outcoached, and that shows up in things like you. We've lost three games on special teams, and that doesn't happen to good, well-coached teams, well-prepared teams, and great teams. That just doesn't happen. That happens to other teams. That doesn't happen to, to Boise State, but it is happening to us this year. No, it happens to other teams when they play us. Sure. In the past. In the past. And here we are, and we're on the receiving end, and it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good. Um, it just... I mean, the reality was we lost by seven on the road to a team that's like, what, uh, eight and one. There's like, when you take a step back and you just look at that in a silo, there's really no shame in that. But when you add it all up with the whole season, the way we're losing games, and really this Fresno State team, in my opinion, is not a great team. Um, but to lose the way we did again, just on these fluke, weird things. I mean, just, I mean, last year it was, uh, it was having two guys on a punt return having the same number. And it was like the coaches had never thought about it. Like, oh, we can't have the same number. Two number five. And this year, yeah. um, obviously the kick return, we can talk about that. But just it, that penalty on Bolt waving his hand, that was just... That was weird. It was, it was a weird play. I've never seen that happen. But the reality is there's a rule that you can't raise your hand overhead while the ball's in the air. And guess what we did? We were running yeah, back there as part of that thing. What I'm saying is... I highly doubt that Bolt on his own did that. I, they were setting up a pass, and he was... A wasn't fake. that a deception? The, the, yeah, it was, was a, yeah. whatever it was, yeah. but the coaches instructed them to do that, and the fact that yeah. the coaches don't know that you can't do that, like you can't not have the same number, two guys with the same number like they did Can last I year and almost say... lost a game. It's, un, it's undisciplined yeah. on the coaching staff that they plan, they put that in the game plan not knowing that's against the rules. And it's an indication of what we have in the coaching staff right now. Ha, had anybody else ever seen it? I've seen never that. seen I've never that. Seen it happen. And, you know, but blockers, I'm sure blockers at some point put their hands up. I'm sure somebody on the receiving like team. When they're blocking out the sun? I'm sure, like, somebody's, like, you know, running and puts their hands up. So you think it, it, get you think it was it's a like, good idea what? that this week in our game plan that the coaches said, yeah, Bolt, run this way and wave like I this. I had no idea that a player not receiving the ball or even anywhere near receiving the ball couldn't put their hand I, up. I didn't know it. Either. I didn't either. That's fine. You're not getting paid $1.8 million to be the head coach of the freaking football team. No they point. should know. Yeah, they no, should It doesn't know. take away from your point, which is a valid point of undis- I mean, that wasn't incredibly the end of the game. Undis- it, correct. That, that one play, we got it on. We needed to score. What did you think? Three yard-
242, 258 yards, one TD, one yeah. interception. I didn't think they had a good game, great game. But we scored enough points to win. I'm going to say it like that. We scored enough, and we had enough. We had enough offensive firepower to do what we needed to do. In my opinion, Madsen rushed for 61 yards. Yeah, and and so Holani was doing well. I thought Madsen got into it a little bit. I thought our interceptions were odd. It, it's so. I think it's so. I I don't mind the two quarterback system. Still, I'm going to say it. I don't mind it, but I don't like how they're they. You know, Taylor takes them all the way down. They're desperate on a third and 10. They throw Matson in. He throws a pick, like an, a bad one, right? And then, you know, they underthrew two guys in the end zone for a, a pass breakup and an interception. And you just wish so badly. You're like, look, would that have changed if Matson when it was in the whole game? I mean, Taylor continues to throw off his back foot and not throw, well, did put you see it that one it. that they didn't, they, the, the camera didn't pan to like the, the throw initially? And it yeah, showed yeah, yeah, Taylor. Yeah. He threw it, and he like, did you see him like wince and turn away? Yeah, yeah. And it was just like he that just, is does not look like what you should look well, like. Well, he you continues throw the ball. to throw like on the fadeaway. Yeah, you know, it's it just, like not throwing it. And you that one pick he threw, you're like, man, if you step into that a little bit, and I wonder if the coaches get upset at that. But either either way, I think at this point it should be a ninety ten Madsen, and get him in, and then give Taylor some drives, give him some, give him some extended plays. Let them throw it because they don't let them throw it. They don't a even non sideline. One for two. One for two. He had that one that was a pass interference call, so yeah. that doesn't count. Sure. Um, Three throws, really. Yeah, and, and so I don't understand that, but I still think I like Bush Hamden. I think he's doing a good job. Okay, yeah, we're I still like Bush on Hamden. Thirty points. I want to keep him. That's my. That's what a big concern I, of mine. Yeah, I don't have any issue with Bush Hamden. My no. issue is with the yeah. two QB system. Okay, that's fine. But I, 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 I'm super worried if we get rid of Avalos, that Hamden's gone, and I want badly to yeah, keep a coordinator a, for three a, a, years. When was the last time a head coach got fired, and the new coach came in and kept the coordinator? Well, Danielson. That just doesn't seem like that happens. Danielson with Avalos. No, but that's different when you get fired. Oh, fired. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, it just doesn't because a, a new coach comes in, he wants to change it, and and that's if we and we'll t- I'm sure we'll talk about this if we do go in that direction. I am super worried about yeah. losing Bush because I think. Do you we hold need, on to? Are we going here? I don't know. Do we? Are you willing to stick with Avalos just? To I'm keep not. Bush? I'm not. I don't want to talk about that yet. Okay. I, I love either. Bush Hamden. Okay. I don't know that he's ready to be the head coach. I don't know, but because I like him as a coordinator and I want to keep a coordinator for three years, can we just do that once? For once in the sure. last eight years, can we just keep a coordinator for more than a year? I'm I'm really well, bugged about it. Well, it's it. like we run into the issue of we're doing really well or we're doing really bad, and that's a key. Yeah, that's yeah what well, contributes anyway, to losing coordinators. Anyway, so there's that. And then I um, want to make a statement. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, viewers, Get the music brace going. yourselves. Get the music going. Here What's we go. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, this is close. This is the most prep work this I've seen for this This could be a wardrobe pod. malfunction or a wardrobe. <laughs> could- Something's going on. Dude, Brett is is getting excited right now. Hey, oh boy, I want is. it. Uh, I don't know is. if you can see it. Stand up a little bit, dude. Travis Hawks. There we go, right there. Is that? Did we you get it from Blue and Orange Store? I didn't. I made this myself. I think is Travis Hawks made that himself. NIL deal. Uh, no, but I I'd be happy to do an NIL deal with <laughs> or so, Brad. Uh, got some issues on Come my mic. On, man. Okay, look, you, man, free bolt, dude. He's a good player. That one catch. That was a good a catch player. and like run. Like 33 years. That was, one it was. catch. It was his own you. You're in such a bad mood. I am in a bad don't mood. Don't make me mute you. Diane okay. will not like it. Here's Free the deal. Bolt. I I'm want Bolt. It, man. I don't know who Penry is. He's okay. He made Chase a great Penry. catch. Okay, but throw it yeah. to Bolt now. Okay, I'm sorry. Like They, they have only n- know how to throw it to McAllister, Dude, though. Dude, that was so embarrassing. I think we have the players to win the Mountain West. Next year. I, right now, I think well, we could yeah. have. We have I mean, we right, I'm win. saying that. Yeah. Like the coaches, the yes. coaches. Yeah. And I, I like Bush Hamden, and I, I think the head coach is our main problem. I really want Bolt to be successful here. I'm just saying it. I <laughs> want Bolt, him. Dude. Free Strawn. Strong Free Strawn, too. Strong? Yeah. He, he had a catch. catch. We got weapons out there, dude. So much more. Run. They should be getting, and I think <laughs> Matson's the guy that can get him the ball. Yeah. Okay, so I, I love seeing Bolt get a catch. I love and, and you know if the season's over, then develop the guys that you're gonna go for. <laughs> like, That's what, so my guess that are gonna is stay. My so here's what they need to do the next three games. We have three games guaranteed left. Who knows about a fourth? They need to go heavy. I, I honestly and we've said it and I've said it, Taylor I've always wanted Taylor Green to be the guy. 
it's very apparent the coaches don't feel that way. And and at some point, he's not the fan, guy. He's not the guy. The coaches feel that way, and that okay, it's so- he's gone. And I get Madsen was fifty two percent. Guess what Talon is on the year fifty two percent. Okay, but so he- if Talon played that game, who's to say he wouldn't have done the exact same thing as Madsen? Plus, he's I don't think that you can say that he he would have done worse. Talon, yes. Yeah, Madsen went exact. Talon's exact. Know. When was the last time Talon had Talon's? Never no, dude, go through his stats. How many times has he ever thrown over nine he times? Never, well, last year he did some, but <laughs> yeah, uh, but I, I think I'm Madsen, not going to question that necessarily. I, it is what it is. Yeah, it doesn't matter what we say. The coaches have told us that Mad Dog is their best option. What they needed, and and oh, because of that, Talon's gone. Talon about, is gone next year. What about Jameson? JFR. James, <laughs> James Ferguson Reynolds. Reynolds. He's got an arm, dude. <laughs> dude He's got awesome. an arm. Did you see him? They, they, there's a glimpse of him. They showed Avalos. And if you look, JFR is in the background throwing the ball. And he no. may have just been. No, I'm serious. Was it really? They may have just been doing their punt warm ups. Like he's dude. throwing it back to whoever, <laughs> have to we, the holder or a snapper. But I looked at it and I was like, whoa. And that was before. Have they we eliminated it. JFR That's as an option? Funny. Anyway, sorry. He's getting ready for that fake. Here's he what they need to been. do. The Which was a great game. play, by the way. They need. Loved it. Talon is out the door. He is. Just but he's okay. he's gonna transfer as, as soon as possible. Okay. They need to figure out if Maddox, Maddox Madsen is the future. And the way to do that is who knows what he's been getting in practice. He needs to be 90% reps going forward. And he needs to start and bring in Talon for some whatever read option stuff. And then the next three games, they need to get a good idea. Is Maddox Madsen? What's his ceiling? What is he the, is he our future? Are we building around Maddox? And I don't know if, what the answer is to that. But him getting 25% of the reps is ridiculous if he's going to be playing 85% of the snaps. So that needs to change today. Tell me why he could, uh, and I don't know the answer to this, why couldn't he be the future? He could be. I don't know. Yeah. Is, is he still growing? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that, dude, so actually, a, my, my younger son's dude, like, I, well, that guy's short. <laughs> like, he's dude, really I, short. Here's the funny thing. I, it, pulled, it pulled up on one of my social media things the other day, um, like three days ago. It was like the 24-7 recruiting thing for Maddox Madsen. And in there, it like talked about it, like talked about his strengths and everything from high school. And I was like, "Yeah, that's look pretty accurate." Yeah, look at this. He was listed at six foot in high school. Okay, yeah. he's well, not even. Yeah, five, but I think ten, I was listed five, at like yeah. I think I was yeah. listed at like two thirty, yeah. six two in high school. Like he they will, don't do that. But he looks. I, why couldn't he? Can go, run. He can throw. He I'm runs just saying, fine. He runs enough. Yeah, he, he very much mm-hmm. reminds me of Grant. Hedrick. Here's what I don't like. very much. Here's what I don't like. I don't like that he's a freshman. I hate that now. I hate yeah. having freshman quarterback. Wants to come? Nobody wants to come behind him. Give me a sophomore or a junior with two or three years. Well, he's a I'll take next that. Year. He's a sophomore. Next okay. Year. Well, then you know the thing about a sophomore when they first get in. No, if he has a good season, he has two more years left. We can still recruit to that because somebody could come in at redshirt, play well, one year behind to be him. Tailing this year. I know that. I'm just saying. Just I'm tired. I don't like that. They're. I don't like these a freshman. I yeah. hate that because yeah, well, we've had too many times with that. So yeah. But here we are. And Talon's, yeah. we, do we all agree that Talon will not be on the team next I don't year? know. I don't know. It, it's so weird to me where's he because... where's he going to go? I mean, Hank, yeah. Hank ended up at Louisiana Tech. Yeah. Well, you already made this argument. You think he's going to yeah. go anywhere. I, that's what I thought, but yeah. I don't know. I do think he's going to have plenty of G5 offers. I Sorry, just don't Matt. get why they're like, he's earned the right to start, right? Like, it, it's almost like they're giving him preferential treatment. Mm-hmm. At least they'll say things like that. But then when it comes down well, to playing, I they're like, he's, hey. You're out. I think he's earned. You he's earned You're the out. yeah. He's earned the right in that he's been there. He's been a leader. He's at practice. He's. I think he's earned that part of it. To your to your point, just like a stretch. But on the field, he hasn't this year. No. And so I agree with you guys, Matson ninety ten. Okay, but I still think you could utilize Talon this year. You know, I still think well, you could, and you could put him in as a receiver. You could put him in as a lot of stuff, dude. The guy's a player. He can be. He could be a weapon yeah. for you still. Um. Defense, we're struggling. Okay, I'm just gonna say it. But we had some dumb plays. Like you, Dude, you need to fill holes with the transfer portal. And I, and I'm here's my thing. I actually do have a question. I want to. Well, maybe I should wait. Do you want to give your recap of the game? Yeah, recap it. Sorry, Matt. I yeah. Give... Uh, a lot of thoughts. Uh, the the two QB thing. I don't. The thing that really s- stood out was like. <laughs> How how they gave Taylor the the one snap and then he's done. <laughs> one snap. It's that like didn't make any Bush sense. Hamden started 
against U of I. Remember that? It was like a senior night thing. Yeah, you remember that? Yeah, Yeah. and then he threw a pick pick six, and then they yank him and put Kellen back in. It's and like then it was they, like 52 to 7. Yeah. yeah. It's they didn't even give Taylor a chance to throw a pick. Yeah. Well, yeah. I guess he did throw a pick, but it was just like one play and done. Yeah, that didn't make it. That didn't make sense. So, yeah, the uh I I watched Avalos after the game and he was talking about the squib kick and he basically said without saying that Dalmas kicked it too far. He did. But okay, but why not kick it out guy, of the end zone? Yes, yeah. You got a guy that kicks out of the end zone. Just do normal Guess kick. Guess what happens? They don't field it. They line or up just kick it out of bounds. It was seven seconds. You up, have a lot of options. Yard line, yeah, and they just yeah. But kneel if you've it. got s- with seven, seven seconds. seconds on your own twenty-five, right? You kneel it, and yeah, yeah. Done. There's no way if it's just like that stupid Memphis game. It's like Memphis, the only yep, thing I you agree. can't have happen. Yeah, is what is happened. What happened, and yeah. that's exactly like we had all the momentum in yeah. this game, all of it. All we of score it. Going, going into half halftime, and it's we get like, we get the ball after we half. Yeah, it's just like. And I think the worst things are happening, and it's just, it just again, it's just undisciplined. Undisciplined. Like, the other undisciplined thing was third and seven, right? When did we get that penalty on Clark? Clark. Yeah. I don't know, but the, it just, shoot, yeah, it was face. like they got, it was like they had three plays and they were already scoring. And it yeah. was like from a, a bad return, kickoff, we gave up a big kickoff return. Mm-hmm. It's just, Jay, I, we and, don't, we and don't, and it's at the worst time. Kids, or players very much. Jalen Clark. Yeah. Yeah. That game. is is that his? Uh, that's not his only unsportsmanlike conduct, is it? Well, I'm I'm saying the whole game. I mean, yeah. that if they were going over the top and getting burned, it was that. I mean, oh god. I think it's interesting how struggle. inconsistent this team has played. I mean, flashes of greatness just, against Wyoming, and then you you see the team that shows up, and you're like, oh, here we go. It just we're feels, not going to do it. Like it feels like the talent is there, and they're going to say, well, it's, it's young talent. That's why we're inconsistent. But no. it to me, it just yeah. it comes from the top. Yeah, you're fine right. details, yeah. repetition, making sure every tone, stone is unturned. It's not happening. Okay, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Don't say it. Don't say what Matt I said. Matt had more thoughts it. of the game. Oh, say it. Go. I was going to say, the reporter, did you hear the sideline reporter coming in from second half saying Avalos was a little bit more bouncy, bubbly, yeah. or whatever? Okay. Yeah, I heard that, and I was confused. I just wonder, Avalos seems to be mm-hmm. like unpredictable with his emotions like he's not emotional when we think he should be he is sometimes you know you said he got Last fired up. yeah he laid into somebody love that but it's like he's bouncing he's pumped up or whatever i, I just don't know if he knows how to act yeah i don't know i as the, at, i agree in with his you. position as the head coach. yes it's like it's his it's behavior just, is inconsistent yep. and everything else seems to, you know, it, it's that. almost like you have it or you don't in that situation or it works or it doesn't. Because if you tell somebody, Hey, you're, you're too calm on the sideline and then they overdo it. And you're like, that's, that was too you much. You have to be you. It's you, you have to be you. But and that if doesn't you don't have you're it, a good head coach. No, I agree with that. And it's almost as if you have it or you don't, or you can, you can learn to have it after a long time, but do you have that much time. Yeah, I agree. I wish we could move Avalos to D.C. Hamden, O.C., or <laughs> coach. I think Avalos is just a better coordinator. Well, at this point, they yeah. wouldn't be the first guy. I mean, there's how many examples of that? They're yeah. just like, they're just, they just not okay. that guy. Anyway, those are my thoughts. What's yeah. your question? Here's Brandon? my question. Who's better, Oregon or Colorado? In what? What are we talking Football. about? Football. Oregon. Okay. Oregon. I've, said, I've mentioned Dan Lanning's name. I'm not talking Several about times. coaching. I'm talking about strategy on building your team. How has Oregon oh. done it versus Colorado? Well, Colorado in Louis brought in a ton of <laughs> Colorado's brought in a ton of talent. Sure. Oregon sort of has built that talent. So do, what were well, we talking about? Like pretty, they have no shortage of four. Okay, but like kids, but they built it over a few years. Right. And so I just wonder. You have to. I, I'm. I'm rethinking my thought about rebuilding the entire team and just making uh plug and play positions. And I think meaning for a while I was like bring in a guy that'll just clean slate, just bring in tons of guys oh, and win, 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 and, win, 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 yeah, win. Right. Okay. But I do think like Dion style. Like Dion style. I do think it's better to build like Oregon or any good team to build off your success. Sure. I do think that there are guys in the Pac twelve that are what the pack two or there are guys in the power five that would come that over to play? are not starting 
that could be great on this team Dude, in about, the secondary well, on the D that. line. They, what they about tried? Habibi Who's or whatever? He was Oregon. Yeah, yeah, he was. Okay, he but they, that's they, true. So Boise State, like going into this year, I think they tried to use the portal. They got a kid from Boston College. We haven't seen him. They got a kid from Utah okay. that was on the bench. He doesn't play. They got a kid from Iowa State who's still in trouble with all that betting stuff. He hasn't played yet. Whoops. They tried to get no, some of these well, they power haven't. Kids. I'm saying none of them have made it. Like Penry's the only one. He's the biggest power. Where's he from? from? He's from Colorado. He was a Colorado. Oh, was he really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I didn't. So I had no I, idea who that guy they, was. I think they tried. I. I mean, I well, okay, think you got to try harder. Plug some holes. Yes, absolutely. They missed. They whiffed. They whiffed. And they didn't bring a single new guy from the portal that's made a significant impact. Yeah. And most. I mean, look at. Uh, um. Even Fresno State, just some of the teams were playing. I mean, they yeah, had a kid you, UCF, from the quarterback. Uh, Ohio State. One of the receivers there was an Ohio State There are guys transfer. that are big, that are Power yeah. 5 players, that are second team, that you're like, come to here, give us two good years, and yeah. then you could get into the NFL. Because you could lead this yeah. defense, or so, you could lead this offense. So are you saying, I, I feel like you're contradicting yourself. So you want us to build, but then just supplement with? Absolutely, okay, but supplement aggressively, yeah, man. Like, yeah. aggr- like, bring in five guys every year. That you like that every you year start, that, that you, you think, think are going to start type level, players. and there are guys that are that are selling their whole life to go to the Power Five that didn't make it, or aren't aren't, aren't a good fit yeah. at their current location. Bring them in, man. Come on, like stop. I don't know. Embrace we it. Somebody who can get to the quarterback. Yeah, do that. that's Dude, a massive you should bring problem. in. You should that's bring in somebody problem. at every level on the defense, secondary linebacker, and, and D line. Well, Every single level, one, but yeah, I mean, I, at least we don't have. I like Hassanin. Yeah, uh, on the D line, yeah, build off that. You need a bunch of guys, but dude. you need three of him. You know, and he's. We don't have anyone. We don't have. I, I think we talked about this. We don't have a Curtis Weaver, Kamala uh, Correa, Correa, any of those guys. We don't have an elite pass rusher, and so to get any pressure, we have to bring blitzes. Right. We I, didn't bring them enough. They didn't get there enough. And I actually think our and our back end is so bad. We get picked. It's it's a real problem. It's a huge problem. <laughs> but I think our offense is good enough to be Mountain West championship material. Our offense is absolutely good enough. Yeah, it's it's we need to we need Especially. to bring in better players, individual players, and recruit around them. But every year you should be bringing in. Yeah, I don't know they nine, be at ten all players, times, whatever that number restocking, is. Restocking, looking at their. Yeah, that's just part of it. Uh, I think I that's that. a, I think that's important, guys. We are four and five. We haven't been four and five since nineteen ninety seven. Seven. Well, Mark made a point, and I'd like him to explain that point. Yeah, Mark. I did what on text message. What was that? Do you want me to read it? What's the point? Sure. While you're pulling it up, Mar- Mark. Whoa. Mark has a burner account. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. What's all that about? I have no idea. Who is whoever that is? If you're out there, leave us a comment. Thank you. I think maybe not. I don't know. Mark's burner account. Yeah, it's like Mark on Cam's Twitter. burner account on Twitter, and I have no idea. We have no idea who it is. But the thing is, he's right on everything he's account? posted. The burner account's one hundred percent right. I mean, he hasn't been wrong at all. <coughs> all right, what and I... it's so clear from a from an outside perspective to look at somebody being like, "Oh, Mark is the best. He's so good." <laughs> burr, 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 burr. Mark hits Whoa. again, hundred percent from Mark, and it's like, dude, you have ten of them. Here's what Mark said yesterday at eleven fifty at night. At night, this could be a problem. I don't even remember. You weren't in a good mood. <laughs> no. Yeah, you was. were calling for Avalos to be fired at the end of the year. Okay. Oh, I said that last night. That's what yes. you said. Oh yeah, and you said, How's "Is it, it going to change?" Is it gonna change? What you- um. Has it has it changed a little bit? I don't I don't know. <laughs> I don't Do you know. want him to be fired at the end of the year? I don't want anyone. So here's the thing. Well, <laughs> you I don't said want. It. I know I did. You said it. I know I did. Um, what does what does next year look like if he's still here? Are you well, pumped? so here's the thing. Yeah, am I pumped? No. <laughs> Matt, why would but you I, say that? There, here's the question. Well, then you want him gone. What? It, yeah, but, but it's like okay. Here's the analogy I was thinking of. It's the guy, and this is this is the test for for Jeremiah Dickey. Okay, if you're listening, Jeremiah, it, here you go. is Jeremiah Dickey the kind of guy that would, if he if his wife, whoa, you're now you're getting personal, dude. <laughs> what? Mark. I shouldn't say that. It's just dude. like okay, the, the the divorce with this head coach and this is is a massive mess. It's just, it's going to be really messy with so the wait, portal. Wait, I want to know about his wife. I don't know anything about his wife, so I shouldn't bring her into this. But it's just like, <laughs> is it easier? I don't know, man. 
It's just, it's really hard. I don't know. Okay, I don't you haven't think, said I do anything. not believe that Andy Avalos is the head coach to take okay. us to where we want to be. Because of that, I do think we need a change in the head coach. So I think that after this season is done, he should be let go. Sticking to his guns. I do. I just, do you I want just a cold plunge? There's three years that we have three years of data now. And there's just nothing to show me that he's the guy that can take us to a playoff once it goes to 12. I agree. And if that's not where we think the coach is even capable of taking us, then why are we? Why is he the coach? Have you he's heard 0 that? for 3. He's never been ranked. He hasn't won a Mountain West Championship in three years. And it's not trending in the right direction. And we repeatedly get out coached, and our teams are undisciplined. So it's like those things. He's got young players. Yeah. So, I mean, I like him. I don't want to call. I, I wish it would work. Why do you like him? Honest question. Nice. I'm not saying he's bad. Yeah. I don't know. Just because he's. You couldn't even get through his post game. I couldn't. Speech. I couldn't. Because he kept saying the same stuff. I'm sick of it. You're right. Grow forward. Grow forward. We're going to grow forward. Dude, it's nine. We played nine games. And we're going to grow forward wish, and get better. I wish Avalos like, would what? come out and be like, look, guys, <laughs> we all know the answer to all these questions. Can yeah. we just cut it? Seriously. Can we well, just cut it short? Think? Okay, so I, I will say that, yes, I don't think he deserves. I think he should be fired after the season. I do. I don't like it. It's messy. There's a lot of implications that go along with that. But it's better to do it now than to just run it out the next few years. Yeah. He's, and here's that the other story? thing. He only has two more years on his deal after this, and that's negative recruiting against him. So all the other teams, that's they recruit true. again. He's only got two. That's why Peterson and Harson had those rolling five-year deals. There's always They could always tell recruits, I'm going to be here your whole time. Can he I has talk? a two-year deal. Sure, he's not getting extended anytime soon. It's just it's going to hurt recruiting. Initially, him leaving, we lose guys to the portal and we lose his recruits for this year. But I think for the long-term health of the program, he does need to go. Okay. Go Have ahead. you heard the story about the coach, the new coach that starts? Uh, he walks into the head coach office and the old head coach leaves. He's like, Hey, I left you three letters. Have you heard this story? I feel like I've heard this, but I don't remember it's a it. different, um, category or let's see application of the story. But anyway, he walks in, he's like, Hey, I, when you're having a hard time, open up letter one and then open up letter two, those things. Have you heard okay. that? Okay. So anyway, he comes in and you know, the new head coach is going and going and going. And then he has a hard time and he's like, Oh, I want to know what that old coach said. So he opens up letter one. Okay. He's like, blame it on your players. Like the old players that you're getting new players and you have younger players. Right. So he comes out having a hard time. Hey, look, we need to get better players in. I'm recruiting to all that. Right. Need so, my guys. Need to get my guys. So in. all the public's like, Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Year goes by, time goes by, uh, having a hard time again. Goes back, he's like, "Oh, this is this is good stuff." Opens up letter two, blame it on your assistant coaches. Wow. So he does that, and then fixes some problems. Public's all happy. Starts having the 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 next big problem, and he just looks forward to that third letter, <laughs> and he's like, "This is gonna solve all my problems." Biggest problem that he's had so far as a coach. He goes to letter three. He's like, "Resign." Letter three is like, you're the problem. <laughs> like you can't, you don't have anybody else to blame now. And like, you could say that with Avalos because he came in after COVID. Harson was like gone. Yeah. He basically bombed this whole program, in my opinion. Arguable. In my opinion, let me That's talk. Fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Mute. No, I, I will mute I him, dude. I can't prove that, but I, I I'm saying I, I feel that way I about it. Okay. I feel like it was you sliding. He dropped the bomb and left. So you think? I, I think he hurt this program in the end, because yeah. anyway, anyway. So he's coming. He's like, got to bring in my own guys. Okay. Okay. Next year, plow, fires plow. Everybody's everybody's happy because things were happening. Yeah, plow is the worst. It's not the players because it's his players. It's not the coaches because it's his coaches. He has nowhere to turn. I'm sorry, you have to go. And it's so you feel that way. I too. feel he has to go, and it's yeah. always hard letting go somebody that's trying their best. Yeah. And an employee that's like doing their best that wants it to work out. It's always hard, but you're better off without them. Yeah. In the long term, you're better off without them. And what? you're just, you're just prolonging the misery by keeping them. What does the mess or the aftermath look like? Okay. My biggest concern is losing Bush Hamden. I'm going to go on. My next shirt is going to be hashtag keep, keep Hamden. Hamden. Okay. Where is Bush Hamden? <laughs> that's... <I don't> know. <laughs> Where will he be? I don't know either. Football. That's one of my favorite takes of all time, by the way. <laughs> when Kid Peterson's like, 
What <laughs> champ did? <laughs> it's in football facility. <laughs> <laughs> was yeah, that Jeff Case? So that yeah. Jeff Case asked like, the question. Because he, he didn't, didn't know if he was starting. In the Boise. Oh, I want media, him back. Dude. I want him back. He used to do podcasts. Like, and he quit yeah, about a year ago. Yeah, I stopped ago. listening. I texted. I like this podcast. I yeah, I remember. I thought he was about the off the. It was like 20 minutes quick. Not this crap like we give no it was good yeah, i liked it anyway he was good yeah. uh my biggest concern and you know you like danielson and i think he was a good I think coach he's fine whatever. he's okay. not the problem sure um i want i want consistency with the coordinator i think that's been a big problem for our offense and so i want hamden i like him after that you're gonna have a scramble of players going and then you have to be a strong leader to come in and identify the guys that you want to stay and pitch them hard to stay Okay. But if you're Dickie, you need to have coaches in your mind that you're working back channels. You can't have more than a week between firing well, if, Avalos and getting a new coach. If he's not Pops. already on the phones, working with headhunters, working with he's, people. He, then he's dead to me. Then he's not doing his job. <laughs> exactly. But, you know, and I have to give him the benefit of the doubt because I really like Coach. I really I like Jeremiah so far. He has not come out publicly in support. I mean, he did an interview a couple weeks ago. and it, he At the start of the season. I think no, he no, was but like since that. this all went south, he has not come out and put out any statements supporting Avalos or yeah. like in in not which, to like not for him being here long term. Which is he's the been right very thing to do. To yeah. not, he's like I'm in the trenches with them, and we're gonna keep. Which battling. is the right thing to do. Exactly. But the fact that he hasn't, you're not gonna be like this guy the, sucks. The, I can't wait. To no, no, you won't say him. that. But but if you were for sure keeping him, you would absolutely he would have yeah. already backed him, absolutely. and he hasn't. Yeah. So I he think he's got to figure out the financial aspect of it. And the next guy. And he may think Bush Hamden or Danielson's the next guy. You need a strong leader to come in. Okay? You do. Yeah. I don't know who that is. I don't know. So I remember someone saying that he was on the search committee when, when Houston, um, when he worked at Houston, and they hired the coach. That, ah, what's the oh, uh, the guy that came from West Virginia? Uh, he went after Houston. He became the head coach at Texas. Then he got fired there. Oh, what was name? that? It wasn't Muschamp. It was... Um, yeah, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, and he was like a big hire for Texas. He didn't work out of Texas, but he did great at Houston, the G5 level. Darn it, what was his name? Look at that. Matt Rule. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. no. He Look was at Texas, Look UT. Look at who was the coach before Sark. It was him. Anyways, Jeremiah Dickey has it, and he's at like some lower level thing right now. He's not, he would be available. Scott Frost is available. I'm not saying he's the right call either. I'm Tom just saying. Herman? Yeah, Herman. Yeah, Tom Herman. Yeah. I don't know. I don't you know want to go down there. You want to retread or an up and coming? Uh, Do you want to go to know. Michigan and say, come come be yeah, our coach or Ohio State or You Alabama? need someone. I don't know. I don't even know. I, I, I haven't looked at that, thought about that yet. But it's time to start thinking about that. I oh, really, it's way I past actually, time. I you should have been doing that early. Me? I should have. No, I'm saying, <laughs> yeah. Coach, I, I called I sure this. Hope, Dickie should have been I on I think the, he has been. I, I'm going to trust Dickie that he's on it. I just This can't keep going. It's just like. It, you know what's sad, too, is when you look online, I always get on Twitter after a loss because I. Want to decompress? Get your popcorn out? <laughs> Dude, there's incredible apathy. There's almost no talking about there's, Avalos yesterday. There's less, there was, there's more apathy. Apathy is, and I think this game, eight o'clock, New Mexico. We'll see. They've been doing oh, a good here you job. Go. <laughs> They've been doing a great job getting tickets out. And totally. People I just think but I'd be surprised. I, I think less people are pissed every time we lose because it's, it's just like you're used yeah, to it. it is, you're used to it. it. Yeah, I it slept better last night after that <laughs> loss than I have in a long time because you know, I'm just used to it. Maybe yeah. it's healthy. I hate it. Maybe I it's healthy pissed. that we do that. Maybe it's healthy we go through a season like this because it's easier to get through losses. Like I can move on quicker on a loss now than I've ever been able to move on with Boise State. I think State. it's all relative to the season, right? Yeah, because like next if year we're gonna start with like, oh, if we're eight no going up against Fresno State, and we lose like that. That's horrible. That's yeah, devastating. No, it's true. But here's the interesting thing about new coach and whatever going forward. So next year, I don't know if you guys have looked. I saw it a few weeks ago. Our out of conference schedule is tough. We play Oregon and Oregon State. Oregon State's here. Oregon's on the road. And we open up the year at Georgia Southern. Should be a win. Here? No, at Georgia Southern. Oh, at, on the road. But at least we don't start said, with a P5 the, that we're going to lose. The, uh, the conference schedule, we don't play Air Force. We don't play Fresno. We don't play San Diego State. Of course, they're awful now. So it's like, our I can't remember exactly who we play, but we don't play Fresno and Air Force. And it's like... Air Force is only good be, once every four Our years. conference... Yeah. All right, we, we actually should have... We play Wyoming, San Jose State. We have a super light schedule in the conference next year. Yeah, We should have a good shot at winning the conference if, like, with our current team, and that's the thing, it's like, man, do we get rid of it? Because 
Oh, Portland with this cur- with <laughs> this current roster, if they can fix the quarterback problem, and I don't defense. know. They can win the Mountain West next year. They should win it this year. But if you, it, it, who knows if you get a new coach and you, then who knows what the roster looks like next year? And it's setting up for us to easily win the Mountain West next year. It I should. Think one of the frustrating things about these losses is that we should have won Memphis, Colorado State. We should have won Fresno, in yes, my opinion. Sh- These are all and, winnable games. Oh, we're, we have 17 nothing UCF, on. UCF, nah, we should have won. We, we at home, have. give me a break. We, they outgained us won. by 200 yards. So we what? Didn't we didn't deserve sco- to win that game. Oh, we didn't deserve it, but we should have. We could have. At home. We could have. Yeah, good, oh, yeah. Before, like you said, well, hey, we got them at home, we should win it. But the way the game played out, okay. we didn't give you deserve that one, to but win we that game. We should have won every other game. Memphis, Fresno, and Colorado State. Absolutely. We should have a completely different schedule. Or, uh, record. record, and that's why it's like a tweak here, a tweak there. that's, and and on the other hand, you could say we're this close. Avalos could say uh, we're this no, close. He does. He does. I know. Yeah. I'm just saying that's the other angle that he's going to push. That, and if they keep, if they keep him, that's what they're going to push. And I and I get it. I understand it. But I'm just saying it's three. I, Matt, what what's your take? Me and Brandon think Avalos has to go. Right. Yeah. With res- reservation, are you there as well? Yeah. He's he needs to go. I, I've I've said it before. Great guy. Uh, he's just not the leader. He's not, they're not disciplined. I, I, I think they like him, and I think they're They trying. play hard. They, they tried last night. They play night. hard. But when you get a good leader, somebody that, that teaches that discipline, that knows you can't wave your hand above your head, I don't know how many coaches <laughs> in the league. I, I, I don't fault him for that. I yeah. do. I, 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 I don't. will. I, I don't know. Maybe that's an extreme example. But I, I just think the players, you can say you're playing hard, right? And I think everybody that goes on the field is going to play hard. But there's a difference between executing and playing hard, but also to a very high level. And, and a lot of details are being missed. And I think that goes back to him. Yeah. I mean, so how many we'll drives, on. how many defensive drives this year, if we just get that stop? We're in position to win the game. And that was, again, last night. Mm-hmm. Well, that like, we score. We're touchdown. down three. And before that happened, remember, it was like we were texting. No, you were pissed. And I was like, no, before we scored the touchdown, we're down 10. And you were like, this is the drive. We need this drive. And I said, doesn't That's, matter if we yeah. scored. I have no faith we're going to win yeah. this game. Yeah, and you're right. We go down there and score. And then what happened? We couldn't get a stop. We give up a 50-yard touchdown run. Part of, and part like, of the our... The tackling last night was awful. Again. Oh, remember that one screen? They had three guys. Three guys, and they and let them all the first go down somehow. <laughs> Did you just, guys see it was the bad. Again. post-game interview with Sherrod? What did he say? Oh he's yeah, like, he I had no idea about... why I did so well. No, on the kickoff. <laughs> what did he say? He's like, we knew he, they do some chicken. Yeah, he's like, we knew they're gonna they're playing chicken football. Oh, does that mean scared? I think that's I what think I so. took it as. I yeah. didn't. I didn't understand like that, that they're gonna squib it and play scared and like we're gonna get it. And Squibbing run it. doesn't playing scared though. Like I don't understand. It was that just take. a bad. It was a bad squib. I just think and squibbing people aren't was, afraid of us and they people aren't be. afraid of us. No, no, they shouldn't be. No, no. The the magic or the the mystique, you, the mystique is gone. It's gone. <laughs> it's not. Yeah, there. it's true. Avalos has lost at least four games in all three seasons that he's coached. It's just like we could go down every list. You know, I put I put something on Twitter. Okay. And it was because uh, Fresno hadn't had a touchdown. <laughs> Since uh, 2006? Since 2006. And I was like, dude. Uh, uh, kick, return, touchdown. Touchdown. kick return touchdown. Kick return touchdown. 2008. And it was, dude, this is the year of yeah. we, us breaking records like crazy. Memphis it, it, hadn't had a, kick, a field goal <laughs> yeah, return or whatever, or whatever in 15 years. Yeah. And it's like all Well, these and we're, we're flirting with not having a winning season in 25 years. Yes. This 25 years in a row, we're the longest. Uh, longest there's a, in the country, we, right? we were on college game day. Yeah. There's a trivia question for that. What? And what was the question? It was who has the longest. Uh, streak for having winning, winning seasons. seasons and it was us we have to we're, go we're the we're oh, top i hate those stats we anymore dude go. i hate I know. those stats we, but who has been the leader of all these stats that keep falling andy avlos yeah. never lost to Colorado yeah. state andy avlos Wait, I, it's, it's how like, many of these it's like andy here's the keys to the car you have to put it close sorry man here's the keys to the car it's like oh i backed into something and you're like dude stop that, it that was a brand new <laughs> car like, it whoa. wasn't brand new, dude. Oh, it wasn't though. brand new. I knocked but... that vase off the shelf. You're like, oh, yeah. Man, my grandma's ashes in. He's like, oh, sorry yeah. about that. Yeah. <laughs> so true. Yeah. No, it's he's. Like, quit bumping into stuff. Can I, or, uh, can I change the subject? Do, is there any more decompressing that you guys want to do on that subject? Yeah. Yeah, I do. If 
okay, what are our predictions? Who's the is Andy Evlos the coach next year? All right, we to know Ferkin's point. Happen. We need to have some sort of yeah. punishment if this isn't the case. But it, can we just say to, it? It needs to happen before end of the season because we can't do a cold plunge. Okay, how about this? Is he it's let go before the season. end before the no. bowl game? Oh. See, I don't really lose that. What's the strategy? Out, What's the so. strategy? No, from do you, here out. Do you no let him game. go before <laughs> the recruiting finishes or do you wait till the re- you know what I mean? Like Yeah, yeah. I, or I, the, I, the, the transfer my strategy portal, is I don't know what the strategy is. My strategy is. is if he wins one or two games, I think you let him go either way. Yes, period. And but my strategy is That's my question. Uh, I, I don't know. I I this this is a tough call for anybody. I think they should I don't know. The only reason they won't is because they don't have the money to let him go. That's the only reason. But can't they pay him out over like 10 years or can't they pay him out over the, just the remaining time? I don't think he needs it all day. Can't they want, extend but, it? But do you think Dickie could be like, hey, he's going to turn it around? Well, yeah, they could. He could think that. I think you, the fact that Dickie hasn't come out strongly supporting him tells me it, at a minimum, Dickie isn't sure. And I think it does. I think it matters. If, what do you think? If we get to a bowl game, if we end the season seven and six, I think they actually keep him. I do. <laughs> I don't agree what do with you it. Think I the do. What do you president saying? Dude, I don't Trump? know how. Yeah, what does she think? What is, but she, cause th- doesn't she have an influence on Dickie to say sure. one way or the other? Absolutely. Do you think she's saying anything or is she like, that's your area? Go for it. I don't know. I don't know. She's been quiet. Would Custer have said something by now? Yo, dude, yeah, dude. I think Custer would say yeah. everything. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. I think Custer was a big part of hiring everybody. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do. I know what Custer would say right now. Fire him. Idaho sucks. Just Idaho the state. <laughs> he just changed. He just changed. He just, he hates, he hates the state of Idaho, in my opinion. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> I think he does. On Twitter, he just bashes I think if he ends up seven and six somehow, some way, they keep him. Anything short of that, three I think they games. let him go. So he has to, to be Air three Force. Out of four. He has to win Air Force, no, Utah he, State. He could win Utah State, in a bowl game. New Mexico in a bowl game. Congratulations. And I, Utah I, State, that's just not inspiring at all. San Diego State, but uh, they're no good. <laughs> in overtime, in overtime. We're not any good. It's over there. I, I think anything short of that, I think they let him go. I do. And okay, well, they, I, think, I think he deserves it either way. If, I don't care if he, he goes eight and four. I, or eight and well, five. Can't, yeah, um, he can go I, eight and five if you want out. But I that, think that ain't gonna happen. We haven't won two games in a row all year. If they win the bowl game, you know, too. They, That's what you're saying, right? They'd have to win a bowl left. game. They will two not let him five. go because, dude, the high that we all ride when we have a good game, we're like, we're back, baby. Yeah, we're good we're so again. True. Last yeah, week, right we were here so pumped. And, There's no issues. Everything's great. It was too easy of a podcast. when you play like that. Yeah. yeah. Why do we? Why do we fall into that? We fall into that multiple times. We're stupid. We're stupid people. You just have to look at the body of work. His record without Cutter, he's one game above five. Like, you just go down the list. He's not the guy. If you really objectively think that he's not okay. the guy. All right. Okay. Okay. Easy. Sorry. This is oh. the United Commercial Insurance Studio, Jeez. dude. Yeah. He's not the guy. What do you got? You mind? Please. Bale's out here. If you're just joining us, Brandon is wearing a free Bolt shirt. <laughs> uh, I could probably take it off. Dude, I thought he had a great... A great uh, play. Run I want catch. him to be a bigger run part. Uh, I don't know what your problem is. I said run and catch. I didn't say one. I out. did. Oh, you did. Okay. It you was a nice it run and catch. Time. It was. It was. It was nice. It was good. Free him. I'm with you. Maybe. We're talking about Boy State basketball. Hey, this Starts week. this week, yeah, bro. Tuesday. I love it. I want to go over the roster. I don't know how familiar with the current roster you gentlemen are. I don't know how familiar I am, but I'm excited. And let yeah, me tell you, you why. Be excited. Let me tell you why. We lost a few guys from last year. Okay. Market Shaver. Uh, what was the guy? Why can't I remember his name? Milner. Powerful. We lost Milner. <laughs> Lucas Milner. Uh, there I'm was another guy. Um, anyway, my, guy, my, my, my kids liked him a lot. Okay. But here's, here's who we added that I'm actually really excited about. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because we have the returners, Tyson Dagenhart. Kobe Young, Max Rice. Rice. Uh, we have a few guys returning, but we've added some big pieces, baby. Did you know this? Yeah. Who we added? Let me go over it. Roddy? Roddy Anderson. Do you know anything about Roddy Anderson? He was like first team. He's from San Diego. Yeah. UC, yeah, UC yeah. San Diego. UC San Diego led all Big West freshmen in scoring, so he's a scoring point guard. I love Najee. that. 
Najee Smith. That's who Love it was. Najee. Dude, right. he was good. He was like the energy guy, right? So, yeah. but bring in Roddy to help out um, Jace. Jace White. Yep. yep. Okay. Jace, I feel like is a good player. Yeah. Omar Stanley. Do you guys yeah. know anything about him? Uh, St. John's transfer. St. John's dude, transfer. Looks like six a eight. Yeah. Beast. One thing we struggled with last year was center play. I'm okay. not sure he's a center. But he he's six eight. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know what he's gonna play. But had a good score. Had a good um, freshman and sophomore year, I believe, at uh, St. John's. John's. Let me keep going here. Chris Lockett Jr. Uh, I don't know. Freshman, Isidore freshman. Newman School freshman, but Louis, he's like can I gate. stop? Stop? Can you stop? I'm I'm stepping on your toes. You are I stepping bet. on my this toes. Your You're still on my thunder, Diane. Do you know Talk any to your son, Diane? <laughs> <laughs> Mark, get on Diane's phone and, and <laughs> chastise you. <laughs> from your burner. Chris Lockett Jr., Matt Lamb, he's from New Orleans, Louisiana. Why is that interesting? This young man was the Louisiana Gatorade State Player of the Year. Mr. Basketball in the state of Louisiana. That's a big deal. Can we yeah, just say that? That's a big deal. That's a big deal. He's a top-ranked player in Louisiana. Four-star recruit on 24-7 sports. <laughs> And he might not even play a ton of minutes this year. I yeah, don't think. he may not. I yeah. don't know. They, they got a good roster. They have a good roster. Can't. We got Chibuzo, Agbo. We got Max Rice. And then there's, a, there's two other guys. No, there's three other guys I'm excited about. Andrew Meadow. Yeah. Got glasses. He's got the long flowing oh, yeah. hair. Yes. Okay, down to his shoulders. Had a lot, a lot of hype about Andrew Meadows. Dude. Yep. He looks you're, good. If you're just going off the picture. He looks, he looks, <laughs> but he's a high school I'm guy. Yeah. Play. He's, he, he's yeah, he's a, a player, high school man. guy, Southern California, three-star prospect, 24-7 sports. He looks really good. He looks like he has a lot of potential. Uh, we have an option at center, Mohamed Silla. He is We've 6'11", two, 240. He was on the team last he year. He was on the team last yeah. year, got limited minutes, mm-hmm. didn't yeah. get a lot. I'm Mo, hoping he can, Mo Silla. I'm hoping he can develop, but here's a guy that you need to watch out for. Uh, Cam Martin. Yeah, I think his brother was on our team. Alex Martin? Are they are they related? I thought that's how he came. Guess what school he just came from? Kansas, Kansas. University of Kansas. Yeah. So you guys already knew this. Anyway, six nine two thirty four. Uh, a lot of accolades going into Kansas didn't work out at Kansas very well. He had limited minutes, limited points. Yeah, looking to take BSU deep into the tournament. That's their current roster. I'm excited, dude. It could work out to be a really good roster, and in a division. That has the national runner-up in San Diego State, a really good division. Yeah, that's exciting. It's going to be an exciting. It should be. <laughs> is, is it I for you? Mount, yeah, I mean, yeah. I think the Mountain West is a great. Do you basketball even like league. basketball anymore, Mark? I like basketball. We've we've talked about. That. I I definitely am get more into football, but we'll see. I mean, <laughs> has this you know? Look I'm at the excitement season. level. About I'm excited, Mark. about I don't know nearly. You know, I don't follow it nearly as closely. But I got it should be another year. Come to a game with me. Yeah, right? I would like to. Yeah. Am I getting invited? Yeah, right well, now. I thought we talked about it before. I think we did. And I think I said, yeah. No, I'd love to. Dude, I'm, I want to go to I'll, I'll go to a few games this year for sure. Possibly the greatest Boise State basketball team on paper that we've ever had. On paper. On paper, yeah. We'll see how it goes. I think the Mountain West is really good in basketball. Dude, Unfortunately, we, we keep getting teams. New Mexico. And, and we just really other. I mean, San Diego State obviously made that run last year, which really helped. But, like, you look to stati- like at our stats in, in the, the big dance. Yeah. It's bad. For our conference, it's bad. And so at some point, it just feels like, dude, they're going to not give us the benefit of the doubt when we feel like, oh, we should have three or four teams this year. We're going to get one or two. Um, but the Mountain West is super, super entertaining league, really good basketball. We look like we might have the best team we've ever had. Um, so I am excited about the yeah. rest of the season. I think that San Diego State bought us a lot of goodwill. It should, year. hopefully. And brought and in a lot them. of money. We beat them, what, four out of five times yeah. we played them? Something yeah. like that? Yeah. Like, we're right there. And they made it to the... So, that's awesome. Yeah. Mark, you... Uh, sorry to cut you off. Go you ahead. played with and against Matt Bowsher in high school. Yeah. You were an Eagle High Mustang. He was a Valley View Falcon. Right. Oh, what? You Where played you against him, too. I played yeah, against him, too. Yeah, you played against him, yeah. too. <laughs> Me and Mark were on the same team. Um, <laughs> could you beat Matt Bowsher one-on-one? Oh, oh, I'm sure not. If he's done any bass... Oh, could I back then? Right now. Right now. Oh, I've no... no. I don't play basketball anymore. I have not what played basketball. He? Is there a sport that you play? He's in right good now? shape, man. I've seen that guy. He's in good shape, <laughs> way better shape than I am. Yeah. No, I'm sure I couldn't beat him. I mean, he ended up playing like in Europe and stuff. He was a good player. Yeah, like in high school, he was a year younger than us. 
I don't think we actually ever played him them in a real game, did we? Maybe in a pre Maybe in early. Tournament? Where was it? He so was where good, was this question coming from? Just a, I was just thinking about did, Boucher, oh. basketball. Yeah, right. no, he he ended up taking it. Like he went to a community college, Spokane, which is is in the same league that I played. I was on a mission when he played there, and then I think he walked on at Boise State, and then ended up getting scholarship. Was a good player yeah. for them. He just kept playing, man. I think he was always a good player, and I think he'd probably say the same thing. He, but like his stats were in high school and stuff were never off for the charts. But he just kept playing. He had good size, and he ended up being a great player at Boise State, and then playing professionally in Europe. I mean, guy loved basketball. Yeah. He ended up taking it to like his, you know. I think he was, he was a good player. Good player. What about our good buddy Brett Hughes? We could do a realtor versus oh, realtor oh, basketball. We actually need to Dasher versus Hughes. We need to debate <laughs> something with Brett. Yeah, I don't. Know. I've been debating. <laughs> I don't know if we should I go into that. Right now. I've been debating this. We've been debating this for two plus years. Do you want our users to ch- or our users, our listeners? To I chime in? I would like our listeners to chime in. And here, Mark is sweating over there. <laughs> Let's just this. talk about it. Let's <laughs> just put it out there. Yeah, people want to hear this, Mark. Go ahead. If they've stayed this long, we're fifty six minutes into it. Take so. the best college basketball female, either on Boise State or in college basketball. Power forward. Let's say they're six two, six three, six four. Are we Let's talking like Caitlin Clark style? Talent? Caitlin Clark, she's six feet. She's good, man. You remember she's Angel? Really you know, good. dude, I think she would beat. So the question is, could one of the best college basketball, female college basketball players in the country beat uh, a 6'3", 44-year-old white male? I don't believe he played high in school 21. basketball. He did not play high school basketball. But he played soccer. Okay. <laughs> could he beat? Mark. Could he win? <laughs> That's the question. 21, you you keep the ball. If you make it, you keep make the it, ball. Make it, take it. Make it, take it. Could he win to 21? This what is, do you think? <laughs> You're not going to get involved in this. No, I don't. This is a bad idea. This is a lose-lose situation. Yeah. Um, I actually think he I would think lose. I think she would dominate. I think, I think she would, would dominate him. I'll say that You're right now. That. She's a great yeah, shooter. Yeah, Kayla, see, that's why I think she would, she would win. back on him because she's got quickness. He's 40-something. I know he's, he's in 44. good shape for his age. He'd beat me, but... Dude, they're good. Women's I basketball agree. players are good. I agree with I was Caitlin at Eagle Clark. High School the other night, okay? Because we had our little, I coached my little fourth grade team, and uh, they had open gym, high school girls. And I was like, the, the difference in girls' high school basketball compared to when we were in high school is significant. Is it? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Really? yeah. These girls are big. They're physical. And, they, and I was, like, trying to figure out, well, which one's going to be varsity? Which one? There was 25 girls. When we were in high school, there was 25. There were 15 Total. that went out for the team, yeah. and most of them looked like they could be no, but they looked like they could be maybe on the cheerleading squad or something. Like they were, they are like phys- like, dude, the, the girls' basketball has changed significantly. I'm telling you, man. Yeah. Okay, well, he says Brett says that he could be Candace Parker in her prime. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's a legitimate dude. debate. It's a legitimate debate. It's and not I'm just a legitimate saying, debate. He, he I didn't don't. Play high I want to know. I know I, but his about? point is like, look, I'm bigger. I'm more aggressive. I he's like, look, I I feel like I have physical superiority over most of these women, and I can I can kind of dictate my way towards the basketball, whatever. Yeah, I, and you don't think there's so. some truth? I don't know. I I don't I don't know. I just I feel like I've, and I don't even have a girl basketball player. In my and I just I've seen the growth in that sport. I want to set just, this up, dude. So I've seen bad. Caitlin Clark play, dude. She's good. She's really, really good. good. She can hit shots, and that's why I think I've she seen, would be Brett. Dude, in because, college, like, I, cause I played college, like the girls that we. This is twenty years ago almost, but like, girls that like really are good at basketball, they're good players, man. They're, yeah. they're. I mean, if you had shooting competitions between boys and girls, they're very equal or sometimes superior. This athleticism is different. I get it, but if you take those top, top, top tier WNBA college players, they're very athletic. I just don't. I don't want to get. I want to see it. I, I want to see it. If any of our listeners know a D one college, I would girl, say I would put basketball player. Man, I would want to play. They would I would put Brad. money. I would put yeah, money up on any D one girl, and I would probably. NIL deal. This is an NIL, NIL deal. NIL deal. No, there's there's money there. If they're, I don't. I don't want to put anybody in a bad position. No. But if you want to make money and you come play this 44-year-old guy, <laughs> throw it out. I'm not kidding. Like, I would love it's that. It's out there now. 
I would absolutely love it. I want it to happen. There's some decent money. There's, you know, certainly hundreds, if not thousands of dollars to, and I would say I'd like to see some size and you got to be a D one women's. That's a, that's a starter Dude, on, if they the, had on size, a team. They would, yeah, they would kill them. But not too much size. Like you need to be kind of a forward or shooting guard with size, in my opinion. <laughs> Can I say it? Am I wrong? No. Okay. I just think it's an interesting debate. Yep. This is more about Brett f- feeling good about himself than it is him being sexist, okay? I yeah. don't, I don't, no, yeah. no, we're not being sexist <laughs> like, okay, at all. Just, it's just, just like so Brett, Brett is overly confident. That, yeah, no. he's a, yes. He's not saying that girls are not. Not at all. Okay. Not Let's at just all. Just put that out yeah. there because. Not at all. But I do think that, to your point, women's sports has improved. Big level time. competitions improve big time. So I think it'd be good to gauge where some of us like. <laughs> That's a weird gauge. <laughs> a, a guy that hasn't played varsity basketball. But he in high keeps school. calling for. One from game. last year to where we had that, that Northwestern game was the game was that set, we, for, oh, set up for us. We, we, we played poorly, man. We came out, we just we couldn't shoot. Yeah. And I thought Max Rice turned it on a little bit in the second half and brought us back, but man, we were shoot. We couldn't shoot and, it, and, and we couldn't establish anything inside. But anyway, I say this is the year and I, and I can be disappointed easily because we've had seasons where we're like, this is the year <laughs> and we've lost it pretty easily. But I'm hopeful that this is the year. I think we yeah. have a lot of experience. Put, put you down for a win. For put me a, down for a yeah. win to get into the second round. I like it. I'm going to say no just because. Yeah. Put the, me down. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I hope. I hope. Year. Yeah. I Unless want there's win. a hot punishment, I'm going to say yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I get it. Anyway. Okay. Do we make that it? was my thing. Yeah. Can we finish yeah. with bowl game predi- pre- predictions? Do we make a bowl game? Rest of the season. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think we go six and six. Get to a bowl game. I think we beat New Mexico and Utah State. Um, I think we beat New Mexico. And, yeah, I guess Utah State. I don't think we win all three. After watching mm-hmm. Air Force play Army, they didn't look great. They looked like garbage. And we do better against the run, for sure. I wouldn't be shocked if we beat Air Force. I don't think Air Force is that great. They hadn't yeah. played. Their strength of schedule is like 129. And then they got beat by a 2-6 and six Army team by 25. Like... I don't know. I mean, we're going to win two out of the next three games. We're going to get to a bowl game. Um, and then all hell might break loose. We might teach, We might have guys. Who knows? But to end the season, I think we're 6-6. Six and six. I think we go 7-5. and five. I think we win out. Oh, Really? I do. Okay. Wow. Really? Yeah. Well, okay. then something's changing because we have played very inconsistent coming off good games. Why, why do you just... I think it's the... T- like you said, we're playing Air Force. They run the ball. We yeah. do really well it's against It's a better the run. matchup than... Um, That's wishful thinking. I think dude. we should very beat wishful. New Mexico, and I think we can beat Utah State. I don't think we'll have... To Mark's point, we may not have our best players even playing the rest of the, the, rest of the year. I, I wouldn't be our shocked best if, if we don't see Genty again. Like and ever. what if Holani gets injured again? Breezy, baby. Breezy. Breezy. Who is 25? Breezy looks fine. Dudley? Who's... T- Dudley. Katie he Dudley. had a lot of playing time. He, yeah, he did. He did He's like well. the fourth or fifth, but they like they have a role for him. Yeah. He seems okay. Um, yeah, I if, if it's breezy, we're, we're toast. Like, if, if, if we, we won't have a running game if it's breezy. 
I think Breeze, Breeze has a future. He has a future, but he's not he's, he's not a hundred yard back. Yeah. He's not Holani. He's not no he's nowhere near Genty. He's just a spot player with like get him on the outside, get him on a couple inside. Yeah. Anyway. I don't sure we win two so games. I'm saying whatever. six and six. You're saying seven and five. What sure. you, six and six, we get to a bowl game. Sure, why not? Yeah, yeah we, I mean, we have all been. I don't care either I way. I don't think we win the bowl game. I, yeah. I think it would be incredibly dangerous for us to win out. Dangerous because yeah. they might keep Avalos. I agree. Yeah, I, think, I it's, think it's better if we don't. I know. I, don't I will want never. Them. I will. That said, I will never root yeah. for us to yeah. lose. And I I'm will watching. Never root for us to lose. I I don't like. I've heard people say that. I hope we lose out so that then they fire Avalos. I just and and part of me says yeah, but I could never no. intentionally root for us to lose ever. That's just in my blood to not. That's fine. And I'm and I'm going to watch every game and want us to win. Yeah. But I think it makes it harder for the decision and and. And if you feel like you have enough evidence to move forward, then why are we wanting, you know, why do we want, want to make the decision harder? So anyway, that's the point on that one. Yeah. I don't All know. Right. All, right. All right. Well, thanks for joining us. I'm not Once here again. next week. Mark will be not here. I'll be at it. So. Okay. Viewers are about to go. Wait, wait, so wait, so wait, we won't have, <laughs> we won't have your mom to chime in and have maybe, your family. Yeah, we'll maybe Diane. bring in Diane. <laughs> You've had <laughs> maybe bring in. We talked about a couple other options, didn't we? Yeah, we may need to. Yeah, I think there's some options. Tune in next Raise week. Raise your for hand a if you want to join us on the Shirts and Skins <laughs> podcast. <laughs>